Greetings everyone, hello and welcome to Worshippers of Cthulhu, a surprise, well, game for me that is releasing today on Steam and it is a city builder where you build up a city of fanatics and unleash horrors on your enemies. It looks really interesting, it is very similar to Anno as that we're building on islands and satisfy the need of our villagers and it is also pretty polished at this point. The game offers the campaign right now and we're jumping into this one now. Now this game only has one mode that is the campaign mode that also has a story already introduced in the in the tutorial mission so I'm not going to skip the tutorial mission and we're just going to go straight away into the game. I am not a harbinger of destruction. I am but a herald of cosmic rebirth. Our purpose is not to sow chaos but to embrace the inevitable evolution that awaits us all. Humanity is insignificant, pitiful in its smallness. Our existence is a fleeting whisper in the cosmic winds. And only by awakening Cthulhu can we transcend our feeble existence. In one profound act, we can shake the foundations of the universe. Let us awaken Cthulhu. For in his awakening lies the catalyst for a cascading effect that will reshape the cosmos and a new order shall emerge. The path ahead is treacherous, fraught with challenges, yet it is the only path worth treading. Let us forge a destiny that transcends the mundane. We live on a place, placid island of ignorance, in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage so far. Favoring my venerable high priest, your guidance has proven prophetic. The structure before us, etched with our Lord's symbol emerged as if unveiled at our approach. A certain sign of our fate and arrival to this prophesied land. We've reached the edge of his holy realm, Raila. Alright, here we start. And we can now start deconstructing our first, um, yeah, first items. High Priest. We may scavenge the fundamental provisions required for our settlement from the remnants of our ship shattered hull. There you go, 25 wood we get out of that, and with that we can build out the first shacks. Some over here. Our resources are dwindling, High Priest. Perhaps it's time your followers have proven their worth by constructing a lumberjack and lumber mill to secure our survival. Okay, so this is pretty much standard. So let's just go ahead and build me a lumberjack. Let's just see that we have a bit of a distance to it, though. All right, so somewhere over here with 100%. And then also we need a lumber mill. And we're going to have this on its way then to the city. If you can call this a city, that is. And yeah, we still, of course, also need to build a road. The sights await, High Priest. But it will be a true trial of your followers' capabilities. To see if they can deliver on our expectation. Afterwards, we need to also build a builder shack. Let's have this one a bit central. Worship the there it is. One. And this is where we have builders now. That are starting the construction of my first industry. Up here we can also see that we are losing faith right now. So faith we can use then for all kinds of things. And that is probably also one of my next tasks. We also can we can also see how many homeless people we have right now. So we now need to also build them something. And that is a house. The erection of houses is necessary. For homeless followers will not perform the work. Let's also demolish those ruins here. And we probably get something out of it. There you go. Some planks. He will awaken. 
There you go. And with that, we've built three shelters. Okay, next we can assign our workforce to this industry. And we got three people right now. And Clarissa Thurston, you're going to chop me some wood. And the other Clarissa that we have, Gilman, is going to uh, process that into planks. Hmm. Didn't quite work. Change the assignment. Oh yeah, there you go. Now it's working. So that we are starting producing some basic materials. Right, and then we also have the shelters done. And yeah, well, <laughs> we can we know this. Right, we have needs now that we need to fulfill if we want to upgrade them. Let's also continue the construction some of those ruins here. What is that? That is just in collect, alright? So here, yeah. My high priest, there is a matter that needs your attention and judgment. Show them the might of our God. Make them feel and feel the ecstasy of life. Well, there it is. And that is a well a temple more or less. And the old one, uh, to thank the old one for allowing him to arrive on his land, your people prepare ritual firewood spires. Each spire holds two cold animals struggling against the ropes and a captive brought along during your long voyage. The young man screams with a torn voice, crazed eyes and deep bruises on his body. You are asked to throw the torch to begin celebration. Alright, light the spires. That causes a slow and painful burn and with that we get 10 fanaticism. And release the sacrifices. We get another homeless, but we lose the fanaticism. So let's light the spires. As the last breath is drawn from the sacrifices and cultist excitement reaches its peak, suddenly something changes. People begin to scream and yell. You see a glimpse of the vision they see. A majestic tendrils of God slithering from the chasm, dripping in blood and gore covering the ground. Where the gore falls, a new material packet is unearthed. The vision fades and your consciousness with it. High Priest. Have your senses been rekindled? At the culmination of the ritual, both of us fell into unconsciousness. And with that, we got a an Eldritch Favor that, well, basically acts as a tech tree. So let's have a look at that. There you go. And here we can now unlock us new things like the Sacrifice Altar as my first one. And this one costs me 10 planks that we can also build then. And we can only build it here. Right where we have our god. Let's get a road over there. Speak the command, High Priest. And we shall erect this maiden monument bestowed upon us by our sovereign. There it is. And with that, we have unlocked the new ritual for favor. Okay, so we can now ask for new Eldritch favors by beginning a ritual. And we need to sacrifice planks in this case here for this one, right? Let's just see. And with that, we get 12 Eldritch favor.
encountering the harbinger of God and the living conditions of your flock distort their minds. Pitiful, unenlightened souls. Yet, we should attend to their primal needs, to amend this distraction. I have carefully recorded the needs of the faithful within their house, all for your noble purpose. Ah, primal needs fulfillment, that's my speciality. This ritual is finished. We can complete it. Oh, look at that. He actually exists, the god himself. Blessed are we by the magnificent tendrils of our god's liege. But I will have to quell the fear in our faithful, guiding them to all. I'm a believer now. He exists. Very good. Okay, we get some more Eldritch favor with that. And let's just have a look what we should now do. So in this case here, yep, we now can attend the needs of this. And this generates then more faith. Begin so by saving your followers' initial cravings. Construct the Elder's Temple and offer calm. So right now we cannot do that much here. Um, there's the Elder's Temple. Increases the seal of one close by. So this is kind of like a service building that we have. That would be then here my clam production that I'm also going to need at some point. And where's my cooked corn? I haven't found that yet. There's the temple. Ten planks. I serve the deep. Worship. So that would be it. And we can see uh, based on the radius, of course, where this uh, building is, right? And let's just have this one here. So I can have more houses than in this area too. And with that, we have another worshipping now where we can increase the seal of my population. There it is. Next, we can unlock the clam collector. Basically, our first food that we can have. And yep, I guessed it. It's down here by the beach. Mm, we could also build a few more houses in the meantime. And collect more ruins. There it is. And we can also assign now someone to that. Evet is still available for this. I like the houses. Looks very dark and gloomy. Perfect for the season. I'm actually going to assign a second person to this because performance is rather slow right now. And it really takes a long time for just one clay. Get out there. Or clam, sorry. There it is. Perfect. Even in a little cart. For my little fanatics, finally they have some food. I'll work for our God. There it is. Coming in now, increasing the seal. And the higher the seal, the higher productivity. So we are getting to medium performance now. High Very good. Priest, behold how your faith income swells. Your flock's primal desires and cravings have insulted my high priest, rendering them content and most significantly more devoted and productive in service to our sacred cause. Behold, your devoted acolytes stand ready, their zeal renewed, their faith unwavering, and eager to advance our noble pursuit. Okay, there's Your a new ship over there. A, lone boat near our shore. a singular boat, badly beaten up, miraculously arrived on the shore. Its inhabitants clumsily ex exited to the shore, falling to their knees and kissing the ground. They talk of dreams that beckoned them here. Your priest suggests that you should offer some of them in gratitude to your lord for this gift. Uh, pick the weakest, <laughs> order their blood ritual, or do not sacrifice any of their rivals and welcome them to the flock. I think we're going with that. That's 12 more. It is in a dreadful condition. If souls are on board. So there's new souls now that we can use. We and with that, we can also add more people to our production. Faith. Achieve at least 300 faith income by providing housing and meeting their needs. The needs so first of all, we do have some homelessness now. Let us bolster our cult and see it flourish. The cult expands. 
its tendrils stretching beyond control. High Priest, let us convene in the main storage. I have a proposal for maintaining order. Let's build another block here. With that, we should have enough housing then for all of these souls. And we have homeless uh, 13 right now. How much housing does one house provide? One? That can't be true. Nah, it's more than that, right? Yeah, because with that, we have no more homelessness. Perfect. And I would also like to assign a few more people now to my lumber camps, right? So, yeah, he's actually good. Enoch, he's ready for this. Performance is perfect with that. Now we're getting 100% uh, productivity out of that. And then we have the sawmill over there. I would also like to assign someone else. Uh, she's actually good for corn cooking, so we might need her at some point. My high priest, when you first led this path, we stood on known shores with but small flock. Now at the sacred side, where our fate solidifies, newcomers speak of dreams drawing them to us, and many more will surely come. We must enforce order and reverence through ceremonies. Please take this knife I found at the abyss's edge. Use it to assert your authority. Take the blade. What could we do with a blade like this? We'll just see. Do not hesitate. Build the ceremony hall. For this, we need to get a bit more uh, fervor. So let's just have a look okay. what we could do. A new ritual. And yeah, it's planks once again. Oh, we can have another one, of course. But the other ones have not the best resources. So let's go with another basic one again. This also cost me 1,500 faith. Plenty of that we have. And we can also auto-complete this ritual, so we don't need to micromanagement this all the time. Okay, having enough f favor, let's go with the ceremony hall. Uh, there's the corn plantation then for the corn production, so let's just continue with more rituals along the way. We have 13 planks right now that we can carve it out once more. And with the remaining, we can build a ceremony hall, allows the performance of ceremonies that yield various bonuses and unique resources. And let's just go ahead. Hmm. We'd probably like to have this one. Yeah. Let's have it over there. There's a nice big open space for it. We can just build the roads around that. Over here. The structure is complete. Let us gather your faithful and conduct the ceremony. Lead them. Okay, and here we can now have my faithful conduct ceremonies, and this increases then the cult for fanaticism. Purity. Faith. Let's begin it. Lead them toward we got the first one here, the carving. So that's with my blade. And with that, we get a specialization exchange uh, for some follower, uh, Joseph, uh, for followers and also more fanaticism. And let's just see who we would like to carve. Um, Yeah. Sheep farm. We don't have a sheep farm. All right. We can mark it now ourselves. That's pretty cool. And commemorate it. We can also have a look at the Book of Symbols. And here we can now have a look at the symbols that we need to draw if we want to go for them. And since we are going for a corn plantation at some point, we may want to carve it something like that. Let's just go ahead. Oh no, not like this. But rather like this. To see if this does anything. <laughs> this is very graphical. And with that... Oh! Oh! And it actually interpreted is as a crystal mine. Mark your people. That's okay. We still get the faith the out of it. Path of life. Mm, that was though a bit tricky. I mean, it was Mark pretty, pretty close, right? Set their destined role within the cult. By your hand, your holy mandate is strengthening, as is your people's reverence, pushing them towards fanaticism. Oh yeah, we want a fanatics. And people don't know what happens to some of the materials they produce. They're convinced they disappear somewhere. But they're afraid to approach the smelly end of the yard. Where strange indentations in the ground can barely be seen. And do not be uh, do not be fearful. Our god will light our path. Go and see if the missing materials are there. Or in many tomes I've uncovered there was a mention of foul creatures. That dig deep and its hunger is endless. Gather materials and cover the hole. Uh, this one gives me... Oh, reduction to fanaticism? No. We still haven't even reached the first level of fanaticism here, by the way. We probably should go for a bit more here. Now, I do have more favor. Um, there's the corn. Anything else we could do here? It's a pretty extensive tree that we have there. But corn it is. Right? And we can also go ahead with the next ritual right away. 
Can I just auto complete it? That would be great. And we can now go for the first corn plantation. We do need a bit of space for that. There's some ruins over here. Let's just see. I mean, we have our storage here though, right? But I don't want to have it too close together. Let's use this road here that goes into this area. There we can have another storage shack somewhere. Where's my storage? And uh, let's just go ahead. Ooh, ritual has been completed. And have, an, uh, have my first corn plantation then somewhere over here. I don't know. Do we need to have the fields constructed ourselves? No, we don't. By the way, this is the central storage, right? So I think this is close enough. The next f favor, let's open up the corn cooker with that. Very good. And let's have this one close by so that we can use it then as well. This should then provide the first or the next need actually here, the cooked corn. All right. We do need to set the fields ourselves. This feels so familiar. There you go. Tools to get rid of that ruin here. Even though that ruin fits quite nicely to the fields. And then we have our corn cooker here. We still need to also have a workforce for this. So can we actually carve again? I would really like to try this. Ah, nah, six minutes. All right. So we need to have someone that is not really specialized for this work. Ah, it's still fine. And then we have the cook. So let's go ahead and assign us. Aza to this job. Perhaps they can gain a proficiency by working in there. Okay, illuminate the path, please. A likable character. So there's situations on the map, like these ships here. We must navigate the depths to claim distant shores and reach the unenlightened souls chosen to satisfy the hunger of our deity. So these poor souls, they're just here by coincidence and we need to kind of like harvest them now. He's a bit hard to understand. Probably should get a coughing pill. There you go. And we still need some more favor if I want to build me that next thingy that we need. That is the summoning ritual site. Next carving was successful. Corn cooker. And with that we have someone that actually works right for my cooking here. That is actually also specialized in that. Very good. This also raises a fanaticism once more. Celebrations during the evening festivities, you are asked to uh, arbitrate a dispute. Should one touch the ground with the forehead or their lips during prayer to the Almighty? Um, of course the forehead. What else could it be? We still have nine homelessness, uh, nine homeless people, so or fanatics. So let's go in. Build them some homes. Some over here. I think that also opened up the workforce then that we need for uh, this kind of thing. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps also over here. And there it is now, the summoning ritual site. We have unlocked this tier here. Actually, this cost me 3,000 faith, and I don't think we have that much more. So we're down to 3,000 faith now. Used for summoning horrors, ready to fight for the old ones. Let's just see. I think we need to have it on these sites there. Ruins of Pylon? No, we don't. Oh, okay. Needs to be at the shore. Just by my clam collection. Go ahead and make us a nice road connection. 
Actually, let's make us this road. So we have a road here along the beach. We don't have any faith anymore, but we have actually a positive surplus here. Or not a positive surplus, a surplus, finally. Okay, we can now also summon uh, Horus with the faith that we have. With the materials that we have, right? In order to summon and control a horror, you ought to construct pylons whose foundation touch the ancient city of Riley. Now, also the pylon needs to be <laughs> researched. There you go. And this one needs a thousand faith, though, Priest, that we don't have. A group of your acolytes have beheld something in the distant waters. Bless them with your presence, and they will unveil the... Oh, a new group of people. Your people point toward a ship, slowly cleaving through the encroaching mist. One man who arrived on the first vassal kneels before you, assuring you that he recognizes the craft. They too were dreamers, preparing to set sail when his crew departed, with many more to follow. Suddenly he falters as something falls from the approaching ship, vanishing into the thick fog surrounding it. Okay, and with that we got a new wave of followers. High Priest, our Lord grants visions, beckoning people to our shores. Let them come, let them come. Oh, great Lord. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. And in this case here, we still need faith. How do I get more? I see mm. the of course, generation here is up and running. We would need ropes. That we don't have at the moment. There is the rope maker. Produces ropes out of what? Out of, I guess, sheep farms? Uh, we can go with both of them, right? There's also a blood drainer. Sounds interesting enough. And there they are. However, it also costs me faith, of course, right? So it's not going to be so easy. I guess we could also wait for the next wave of followers, which is happening in 10 seconds from now. There it is. Four more followers. They have arrived. The first of the faithful. So let's finish another block of housing. Of let us make the best use of this gift. Harness their toil and worship to strengthen our cause. Of course. And with that, we also increase our faith generation, do we? I hope so. I the They're not producing any faith, right? Only once we give them actually some of their needs, faith production goes up. There you go. Our work, our work, we obey. Okay, there's also an overview that I like a lot. So here we can see the consumption versus the production, right? And we can see that cooked corn is actually full. And we are still producing more corn, though, than we can consume. So that means I can have another corn cooker. And we got three that are specialized to this task now. Getting quite busy here in the, in the city center. And I hope you enjoyed this one so far. Uh, we are closing in on the thousand faith now that we need. Then we can build a summoning pillar. And then I can summon my first horrors. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like behind. And we continue onwards here with the worshippers of Cthulhu. Stay tuned.